I'm so glad you're all here for another wild episode of Way Out West. For the last few episodes, we've been on the trail, trying to make our way to Tumbleweed Canyon and meet that mysterious ranger. And since we're on the trail, I thought it'd be wise to go over some trail rules of the Wild West. <clears throat> Rule number one. Trust your traveling partner and remember that leaving your traveling partner behind leads to a whole heap of trouble. Rule number two, when you stop in towns, always lend a hand to the townsfolks when you can. Rule number three, always drink upstream from the herd. You know, like cow herd or... Ew. Yeah, that's an essential rule. Rule number four. Never eat more than one pot of beans in one sitting. Now, I love beans just like the rest of you, but that can lead to a whole heap of smelling trouble on the trail. Just ask Farty McFredrickson. Rule number five. Never stoop to the level of bandits or outlaws. Doing the right thing is always worth it in the long run. What do you say we go and find Boots and Juddy? We should probably tell them that we're heading out soon. Wait. What? You saw something? Uh, let's take a look at it real quick. This is huge. Finally, something that's going our way. An unnamed bandit causing mischief in nearby towns gets nabbed trying to steal buffalo burgers from the Silver City Saloon. He is expected to make bail by the end of the day, having his father wire the money all the way from Rowdy Town. But if he's in that Silver City jail, we should get a head start and lose him once and for all. This is our lucky break. We can get to Tumbleweed Canyon and have the mysterious ranger help us defeat the mayor of Rowdy Town. Uh, but wait! Before we go, don't you think it would be funny to play a prank on the bandit? <laughs> think of all the chaos he's caused for us. Time to give him a taste of his own medicine. Let me go see what I can scrounge up. Well, shoot, doggy. It's good to see you back in Dead Man's Park. Now, I know y'all need to head on out of here soon. Before you go, we got a story for you. Ooh, I think you're gonna like it. You might recall how God helped a man named Moses lead his special people out of the land of Egypt. They had been slaves there under the leadership of a mean old pharaoh who sounded like, Ugh, I'm a pharaoh. Do what I say. Blah, 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 blah. It was pretty rough, but Moses helped the people escape. And when they had made it through the hot, sweaty desert, they stopped and camped in front of a mountain. What in tarnation are you doing? I'm building a campfire. It gets real cold up in these mountains. Well, okay. While they were there, God called Moses to meet with him at the top of the mountain. Whoa. That's awesome. Did, did Moses just climb the mountain? You bet he did. And when he got to the top, God had a lot of things he wanted Moses to say to his people. 
I bet you that mighty fine bandana there, Moses was all ears. Wouldn't you be if God were talking straight to you? Well, of course I would, Boots. Anyway, God reminded Moses of how he had helped him lead the people. And he also told Moses he wanted the people to obey him, and then if they did, they would be his special... Ooh! I know. His special spurs. You know, like the ones you shine up real good and put on your boots for when you go on those real long cattle rides. Nah, not spurs, but God did say they would be his special treasure. Ooh, treasure. Moses went back down the mountain to tell the people that all that God had said, and you know what? They decided to pan for gold like my tooth. No, but they did choose to do whatever God said. Huh, well, good for them. And after three days had passed, there was thunder bah! and lightning. Thick cloud covered the mountains, and a trumpet gave out a very loud blast. Bah, bah, bah! Even louder. Bah, bah, bah! Moses led the people to the foot of the mountain, where they waited while he went up to meet with God. It was there that God had shared some rules he wanted the people to follow. Ooh, uh, sh should I write these down? I don't think it could hurt. Here's what God said to do. Put him first and worship him only. God first. Got it. Use God's name with respect and set aside one day of the week for rest. Respect your parents and don't hurt other people. No stealing or lying. Really? No stick them up? Nope. And you gotta stay faithful in marriage. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. And last, don't want what other people have. Wait a minute. Does that mean that I can't want that fancy old bandana you got? His boots? I really want it. Nope, you have to be grateful for what's yours, even if you don't like what you got. All of those rules were things God's people could choose to obey, and we can choose to obey them too. Well, I'll be. So, so what happened when God was done? Moses stayed up on the mountain for a while, but when he came down, the people were ready to do what God said. I don't know about you, but I'm ready too. Yes siree! Even if it ain't easy to choose to do what God's telling you, it'll always lead to what's best when you do. Now we know y'all best be getting on your way. According to the papers, that bandit up in Silver City will be released from jail by the end of the day. And since Silver City's only a few miles up the road, you two better skid along, deal on out of here. But feel free to stop back by any time. We'd love to see you again. Bye. Whoa, doggy. I sure am glad that Boots and Juddy told us that story from the Bible. Not only should we choose to follow those trail rules I told you about at the beginning of this here episode, but we should choose to follow what God says. God will be with us out on the trail, whether there's a bandit chasing us or not. I know God will never steer us wrong when we choose to do what he says. If it's his plan for us, to make it all the way to the West, then I know it'll happen. The rules that God gives Moses and the Israelites are rules that we can follow too. By reading the Bible, we can know what he wants us to do. It always leads to what's best for us when we choose to do what God says. And that's today's need to know. That's what it's all about. Let's all say it together. <clears throat> I can choose to do what God says. Let's say that again. I can choose to do what God says. I think y'all have it. I'm so thankful to know that we can live the best lives possible by choosing to do what God says. <laughs> Uh-oh. It looks like that town wildman Playster McGamerson is wanting to play a Wild West duel. You know, the Wild West is full of all kinds of duels. Y'all want to play? Great! We're going to play a game called Win, Lose, or Draw. Here's how it works. Playster McGamerson is going to put a word up on the screen that you can see, but I can't. Then 
you grab a piece of paper or a notebook or anything that you can find, make sure you have permission to write on it, and draw what the word is. You can draw a picture or whatever you can do. The only thing you can't do, you can't write out the word for me. I'll do my best to guess what you're drawing. If I get it right, you get a point. If not, better luck next time. Okay, the first word should pop up now. Is it a water buffalo? No. Is it a, a kangaroo on vacation in the Bahamas? No, that's not it. Um, is it, it, it looks like, is it a cactus? Yes, great job drawing. You're a pretty good artiste. Okay, the next word should be up now. Mm, is it a horse riding a turtle? No, that don't make no sense. Hmm, it, it, it kind of looks like a baseball game, only you're playing with a pineapple. No. Hmm, that don't make no sense neither. Is it, wait, it kind of, is it a horseshoe? Great drawings! That's an amazing horseshoe. I don't know why I didn't get it to begin with. All right, the last word is on the screen now. Ooh -wee. This looks like a tough one. All right, is it a cow tap dancing on the moon? Nope, nope. All right, all right, that's okay, that's okay. I got another guess, got time, got time. Is it a cowboy riding an ostrich? No? Okay, that's for you. Is it a space adventure with pirates and spaceships where we go to light speed and save the universe? No. I don't even know what half those words mean. Is it a house? Yes! Oh, you got all three points. Excellent job. That was a fantastic duel. We've had the wildest duels throughout this series, but no matter how wild or crazy our duels get with each other, we can always remember that God has a plan and purpose for each of us. I've had the best time heading way out west with all of you today and seeing that we can choose to do what God says. Now before you go, let's all bow our heads, close our eyes, and pray together. God, thank you for helping us see that you have such a special purpose for each of us. Help us to choose to do what you say this week. We know that choosing to do the things you tell us to do will lead to the greatest life possible. We love you and thank you. And it's your name we pray. Amen. Remember to find everything you need dealing with Way Out West and Soul City Kids on our Instagram page. Make sure your parents or adults in the house are following us on Instagram at Soul City Kids. Also make sure they click subscribe here on this YouTube channel and like this video. YouTube loves it when we like these videos. Have a rootin' tootin' good day and we'll see you next time. We're our west and we're all in this together. Get it up, partner, it's time to go.